hello guys good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day it's a beautiful wednesday morning the 16th december 2020 i'm still updating you guys what is going on in nigeria especially the insecurity aspect where over 333 students were abducted the 333 that is the um Katsina state figure remember the presidency said 10 students were abducted, uh, but Boko Haram came out later to tell them it was more than 300, that they abducted about more than 500. So among these three, I really don't know who to believe. If I am to believe the presidency, no, we already know this government uh, believe in lies, so I can never believe uh, what the presidency said. So I don't know if I'm to believe the Katsina state government. Well, I may try. And so far, so good. I don't know if I am to believe the figure of uh, Boko Haram leader, where he appeared yesterday in a video claiming responsibility for the raid. Remember, the government said it was bandit that abducted those uh, students, and uh, maybe they really didn't want the people um, to have this fear. Remember, um, one of them in that presidency, we already know him, uh, the one that said um, Boko Haram is technically defeated, that they are only attacking vulnerable areas, all right? So he said Boko Haram is technically defeated. So Boko Haram now tried to prove to them that they were not technically defeated and raided a school, cut away, abduct 500 students without intelligence. I mean, how do you explain this? All right, so far so good. Um, senators yesterday Tuesday lamented the inability of the president, President Buhari, to effectively address the insecurity in Nigeria. They also reminded the president of their powers to impeach as contained in the nation's constitution if the situation persists. When I heard this, impeach who? You impeach the president who born you. I mean, people that that are already rubber stamped. Remember once, uh, even the Senate president himself said that whatever the president asks him to do, that is what he will do. So it means, how then, how do you start the process of impeaching the president that controls you? I really don't get it. So the senators also advocate taking serious action, including putting on hold further actions on the 2021 budget that could make the president to take resolution passed by the senate seriously even if this men put the 2021 budget on hold the masses will only suffer all right it's not gonna affect them how will it affect people that earn about is it 13 million uh, 13 million naira every month how does it affect them it's not gonna affect them it will affect the masses. It, it will not even affect the president as well. So the lawmaker spoke during a debate on the motion moved by Senator Bello Mandia from Katsina South Senatorial District on the abduction of the 330 students of a secondary school in the state, which Boko Haram had claimed responsibility for. The Red Chamber unanimously resolved not to have anything to do with the nation's service chief any longer. Hence, they dropped their earlier decision to summon the defense minister, military generals, and the head of security agencies. So I gave you guys that update yesterday afternoon where the Senate um, summoned the security chiefs, but they later said they have nothing to do with them. Now, in my own contribution, when I gave you guys that update, this Senate, they already knew, all right? They really don't want it to look as, to, they really don't want it to look as if they are not respected. They know very well that this security chief will not obey their someone. They will not come. How, how will a government invite another government? It is not possible. They know. So that was why they had to drop their earlier decision. So that by the time they know very well these men will not come so it will be a slap on them they know that was why they had to drop the decision 
uh, the decision to summon those security chiefs. All right. So it accordingly resolved to condemn in very strong terms the attack on government science school Kankara in Katina State, which led to the abduction and disappearance of the student. The Senate also um, urged the Buari to consider and implement the recommendations of the Senate Ad Hoc Committee on Nigerian Security Challenges and the Senate Resolutions as a holistic response to the mounting security challenges across the country. Okay, the chairman of the Senate Public Accounts Committee, Matthew Ogide, lamented that National Assembly had exhausted all avenues to make Buari tackles in security. Now, this is the point. This is what we are talking about. They have exhausted all the avenue. Which avenue? Why won't you exhaust the avenue? You invite the president. The president um, couldn't appear. Why will you invite the president? A government inviting another government. So, I really don't know. Nigeria is becoming so, so interesting. Like, seriously. All right? So, according to him, he said, we stood up here to say that the service chief should be changed. The more you say, the more annoying it is. The president and he will never change. Therefore, Mr. President, please, the president must be compelled to act on Senate resolution. I am not saying that the president should be impeached. No, it would be premature. But let us compel him to sit up and obey our resolution. How will you um, compel President Buhari? How will you, how, where will you start? Even after the abduction, the president couldn't visit um, Kankara, all right? But rather, he had to, you know, take a walk um, to say hello to his cows, all right? So how do you compel him? You have exhausted your avenue. So which avenue again do you have to compel him? That is a very big question. So according to me, said, the president has no respect for the National Assembly. Our resolution are not being respected. You already know that he has no respect uh, for the National Assembly. So why are you complaining? Who are you complaining to? Like, serious, these men are jokers. So a former Senate minority minority leader, Biodun Olujimi, also said that it was glaring that the president did not need the legislative arms of government. <laughs> uh, I really don't get it. So according to me, he said, I don't believe that I am part of the problem. The presidency is, is not an award. It is a call to duty. When you call a man to duty, he must be able to know when the box stop and um, he's stable. Right now, the box has stopped. Okay, the president, the box has stopped on the president's table as far as security in this country is concerned. The worst part of this situation is that he is talking to us as if we are talking rubbish all right we have many resolution of this senate none of them has been implemented even the resolution on the answers none has been taken senator sani musa said there is need to draw the attention of the president that enough is enough the service chiefs should go i wish the national assembly would take a drastic action on this we have the power to appropriate Senator James, uh, manager, said, let the public be aware that we have done all that is there to be done. Now, this is what the senator said, that they have done all that is there to be done. And so, um, who should we blame? You should not blame. Man, this country is a joke, like seriously. According to him, he said, we have, la we have handed necessary resolutions for the executive to implement. Not one of them has been implemented, and we are talking about we are inviting the service chief for what now another senator senator gabriel Sus one said there is nothing more important okay there is nothing more important and the senate president ahmed alawan urged his colleague not to despair but continue to speak out that is the final word from the senate president okay I'm talking about the one that told us uh, before now that whatever the president asks him to do is what he will do anyway guys let me know what you think on the comment section below see you in another video